Hi everyone, it's Lynn. Um, just before Christmas Day, um, one of our lovely ladies on YouTube, um, whose YouTube address is Wicked Glen One, um, decided to do a giveaway from people who'd subscribed to her um, for you know a length of time. Though she wasn't asking people to become new subscribers um, and based on one video um, that we'd commented on she um, picked a number um, which was number 13 and it happened to be me and um, and the prize was a hundred dollars so I mean you just don't know how knocked over I was by that, so surprised um, and it couldn't have come at a better time really because um, as some of you know I've had quite a bit of upheaval over the last couple of years with my um, father dying and my mother being very ill and now having to to live with us and um, so it was really nice to have something nice happen to me for a change Anyway, um, Glenda wanted the money spent on craft items. Originally, um, she did intend to do a voucher for either Michael's or um, one of the other stores that you have over in the States. But as we don't have that in the UK, um, she sent me $100 through PayPal. Um, so, I've been waiting for the things that I ordered to arrive. and. She asked me to do a video and let her see what I bought, so this is it. Um, I think I made quite good use of the money Glenda, and I managed to get a lot of bang for my bucks. So first of all, um, I bought the Tim Holtz alterations um, texture fades in the clocks and the gears. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to playing with those. Um, I also got a dip, another embossing folder which was this one with the bricks which I thought would be quite a nice background um, for some altered art projects. Um, I got a couple of tools for jewellery making some bent nose pliers and some nylon edge pliers um, because I am planning to do a bit more um, work with beads so they will be very useful. Um, the next thing I bought was the Tim Holtz die um, which is the tattered pine cone, yeah tattered pine cone die and um, I've been trying to get that one for a while and everyone um, that was selling them for a reasonable price was sold out so luckily I hang on and, um, and I managed to get it at a good price so I'm happy with that. Um, next I ordered these Dynamics dies. This one is the two doilies um, which are very pretty um, this is how the smaller one comes out. I thought that was lovely. Um, this is the larger one, but I managed to somehow cut the bottom of it off. But they're both really cute. So I shall make a lot of use with that. Um, the next thing I bought was these X cut dies, which are labels. Um, and I'm always sort of having trouble cutting out labels and things for cards or so that's going to be really useful. And um, the next die I got was this one from oh sorry, Claire, from Marianne's Creatables. And I didn't pay $8.99 for it. Got it in the sale, so that was good. And that comes out like this. It's a bit like the patterns that you get on the china plates. And 
the next one I got was this ballerina, which is also from Marianne's, and that turns out like that. So that will look really good on a card or an album. Then, if that wasn't enough, I got some score tape. And some red line tape. You can never have enough of that. And then I bought a multi tool, which is um, paper scoring knife. I can't remember what they're called. Yeah, paper cutting scoring knife. Um, and then it's also got two little interchangeable bits which are for embossing and a piercing tool and that was only a pound um, even with the refills for the knife for the knife so I thought that was well good value and then I bought some foam um, dimension stickers they're black it's underneath the brown which you peel off they're black so I've only got white ones, I didn't have any black ones. And then I got embossing powder by Wow, um, which I've seen advertised and apparently it's supposed to be particularly sparkly. So I thought I'd get one and give it a try. And last but not least, I got this massive bag of Reinkers in all different colours, a couple of ink pads, these are the wax seals that you can mount, and a couple of nice bright orange embossing powders. I don't know what I'll do with them, but I might mix them with another colour. And all of these things were one tenth each. That's less than a cent. So I think Glenda you'll agree that I got a lot of stuff from the hundred bucks which in English works out at about 62 pounds. So I'm really pleased with that and um, I hope you'll be proud of me and thank you so so much for sending it to me, like I've said before, it just really meant the world to me. Thanks. Bye.